What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're doing a battery charge test. We've just done a battery drain test. If you missed that, I'll have a link in the description down below so you can see how each of these phones fared. But we are now doing a battery charge test and as a reminder, we have 4,000 milliamps in the Note 9, 3,500 milliamps in the S9 Plus. Now the iPhone 10s has a 2659 mAh battery and the iPhone 10s Max has a 3174 mAh battery. Now there is one thing I wanted to mention and that is that I have used this S9 Plus as my own personal phone for about four months, which means that it has gone through approximately 120 battery cycles already. So I would expect a brand new S9 Plus to perform just a little bit better than this one. Now the Galaxy Note 9 and S9 Plus both both are capable of taking 15 watts of charging power. And the great thing about this is Samsung includes a 15 watt power charger in the box. The iPhone XS and XS Max only include a five watt power charger, which is really unfortunate. Essentially, I just end up throwing away these power chargers the moment I get them because I already have 12 watt power chargers, which is what they're actually capable of charging at. Now for this test, we'll use a 15 watt charger for the S9 Plus and Note 9. And for the iPhone XS and XS Max, we'll be using a 12 watt charger respectively. So that's how we did our test. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. Now the total charge time for the Note 9 took 1 hour 48 minutes, the S9 Plus 1 hour 47 minutes, the iPhone XS Max 2 hours 2 minutes, the iPhone XS 2 hours 6 minutes. Now of course these charge times are very representative of the fact that they have different levels of charging power. The Note 9 and S9 Plus, even though they have larger batteries, they took less time because they charged faster. But if we just looked at total charge time, I believe this would be very misleading because what really matters is actual usable time for how long each phone has been plugged in. Now we've taken the total time from our battery rundown test and extrapolated that out based on the total MAH charged. At 15 minutes of charging, the Note 9 has 53 minutes of usable charge. The S9 Plus at 37 minutes, the iPhone XS Max with a whopping one hour, 18 minutes, and the iPhone XS at one hour, 11 minutes. At 30 minutes, the Note 9 has one hour, 56 minutes of charge. The S9 Plus has one hour, 15 minutes of charge. The iPhone XS Max has two hours, 45 minutes of charge, and the iPhone XS has two hours, 23 minutes of approximate usable time. At 45 minutes, the Note 9 hit two hours, 56 minutes. The S9 Plus had two hours, 11 minutes. The XS Max had four hours, three minutes, and the iPhone XS had three hours, 17 minutes. At one hour, we had four hours of usable time on the Note 9, three hours and five minutes on the S9 Plus, a total of five hours, 21 minutes on the XS Max, and four hours and 40 minutes on the iPhone XS. So in the end, yes, the Galaxy devices do charge faster. They get more MAH in their batteries quicker, but because the iPhone XS and XS Max are more power efficient with the A12 Bionic chip being seven nanometers versus the 10 nanometers of the Snapdragon 845, the iPhones are simply able to to carry the existing MAH that they are charged for a longer period of time, even though they have less MAH overall in their battery. So in my opinion, the iPhone XS and XS Max win overall in this battery charge test. Now I strive to bring you guys the most honest and unbiased reviews possible. If you are down for more tech videos that are unbiased and as truthful as possible, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon out. Bye.